Hi there, welcome back to another video. And today I'll be doing a quick review and demo of this LG front loading washing machine that I bought about two months ago. So I use this machine almost every alternate day and I thought of doing a quick demo review and share some of my experiences. So before I begin, let's see what we get inside the package. So firstly we get this spanner to remove the transit bolts of the drum uh, that is required during the shipping of the machine and they need to be removed before using this machine. Next we get this inlet tap adapter along with the inlet hose that you can see that is already fixed to my machine. I did not use this tap adapter because I had an old adapter that was already fixed. Next we get this uh, hanger which is used to support and route the drain pipe into the wash basin. You can see how this is installed in the manual. I did not have to use this hanger because uh, I am letting the drain pipe directly into the bathroom which is right behind this washing machine. And next we get this quick uh, reference guide here uh, which basically describes all the things that are necessary to be done before using this washing machine. It's got the installation and other quick reference uh, information. And next we get this owner's uh, manual or the user's manual which has got a descriptive information of all the troubleshooting guide, the different programs and other information of this machine. So now let's take a look at the washing machine itself. So this has a capacity to wash uh, 8 kilograms of uh, dry clothes and it comes with a lot of features. The machine is 60 centimeters wide and it's around 55 centimeters in depth and 85 centimeters in height. The door opens to its left and inside you can see that there is a big drum. There is a spray nozzle here which is yellow in color just behind this uh, gasket. And this gets activated only for turbo wash and water gets sprayed on the clothes during the wash and rinse cycles. Now below the door there is an opening for cleaning the drain pump filter and this needs to be opened and the filter needs to be cleaned every 15 days. Things such as coins or any loose particles uh, gets collected in this flexible gasket down there and it can be removed very easily. Now moving on to the top there is a detergent tray here which can be pulled and we can add a uh, liquid or the powder detergent here and also there is some space for uh, putting the uh, softener. To the right is the control panel here with a power button and the start stop button. Uh, there is a programmable knob here that can be rotated and adjusted to select the wash program. Some of the programs here include uh, Easy Care, Cotton, Allergy Care, Baby Steam Care and a lot of other programs. And here you see the display panel that shows the settings, the status of the wash and it shows a lot of other messages and also the estimated uh, time remaining to complete the wash cycle. And the down below and to the side there are a couple of touch sensitive uh, buttons to select various other add-on options to the wash such as uh, temperature, spin, a delayed wash, rinse plus and child lock, turbo wash and a lot of other options. The spin speed is limited to 1200 rpm for this machine and the temperature is limited to 95 degrees centigrade. So water gets heated inside this uh, machine. And lot of program cycles here have this uh, hot water wash option selected by default with various temperature settings. Talking about the features of this uh, machine, it has got this six motion direct drive technology that has different and optimized uh, drum motion for each fabric type. This includes one motion for stepping, one for scrubbing, uh, tumbling, rolling, swing and filtration. And LG claims that this will give a powerful wash performance with less damage on the clothes. Another highlighting feature is that this has an inverter direct drive uh, motor uh, where the drum attaches directly with the motor without the need for a pulley or a belt. Now this will reduce the vibration and also operates very quietly. This also has an inbuilt Wi-Fi and uh, this is useful for uh, remote starting the machine using an app on the smartphone. It also sends notification on completion of uh, the wash cycle. And we can also download additional wash cycles other than whatever is stated here. Up to 20 or 30 wash cycles I guess from the internet. And put them onto this machine. 
The Wi-Fi feature also helps to troubleshoot or diagnose any problems just in case if you get any errors. Now talking about my personal experience so far, I think this is one of the best machine that I've used uh, till date and it does a good job of washing. I usually opt for the cotton cycle and it takes about one and a half hour to complete the wash. I like the feature where it sends the notification on my smartphone once the wash cycle is completed. The spin cycle is also good and it takes most of the water out of the clothes and this helps me dry the clothes in the sun or in the dryer even faster. As advertised I think it has got less vibration and uh, noise. Uh, the machine has stayed on its leg in the same spot without even moving a centimeter I'd say. It's quite heavy though and it's got this rubberized feet and uh, this helps uh, the machine not to skid off the tiles. And I think the remote start feature is not much of use, at least for me. Another thing that I liked about this machine is the option to add additional clothes even after the cycle has started. This can be done by pressing the add item button here and uh, then opening the door, adding the clothes and again pressing the start button over here. I also like the download feature of the wash cycle onto this uh, machine using the app. I have downloaded the one hour uh, wash program and I usually use it when I need a faster wash cycle and it's as simple as that to turn this uh, knob to the download cycle and pressing the start button. Now talking about the app it's called smart thin Q or a smart thing which I'm not very sure and I've already installed this on my android phone. So it displays the current temperature and weather info and shows the status of the machine whether it's off or on. All I can do is turn on or turn off the notifications. I can download uh, some of the program cycles or the wash cycles. I can view the product info and I can view the devices that I have added to the account. So with that I conclude this uh, video and I hope it was uh, useful to you. And as always please do give this video a like if it helped. And also do subscribe to my channel for more such videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.